Mr McDonough, who is the head of, of Supermax or whatever. In fact, he's probably one of the biggest beneficiaries of social welfare in this country because the profits that he makes are on the backs of people who are very low paid. And we actually, the, the state actually supplements those people, a lot of those people, and, and giving them social welfare to justify him paying them low pay and, and, and help him to make more profits. I, I think we should change this whole argument around and we should change it around and it, it actually would change the whole narrative if we were saying that employers are benefiting from all this and employers are the people that are going to benefit from it. And that would change everything then because then we would see that um, that we wouldn't be attacking people and individuals on, on job seekers and stuff like that there, but the, the employers are actually going to benefit from all of this, which is what they do. But I remember I remember a couple of years ago, we had a, a presentation over in the AV room from small businesses who were coming in crying about social welfare payments and stuff like that there. And I said to them, well, what about um, fa family income supplement? For people who work for you, who are on low pay, we pay them actually to to make up, make up the difference, make up the low pay that you pay. And they were shocked and stunned that that's got nothing to do with us. That doesn't benefit us. It, it does benefit them. It's a state actually facilitating their low pay that allows that, that, allows that to happen. You know, so, and that happens right across the board, but yet all these employers were supposed to bend over backwards for them and say that they are the best people, and only for them this, this, nobody would be in employment. Actually, only for the state, they wouldn't exist. And that's the reality of the situation, and I think that's something that change, would change the whole argument right around.